Hi, welcome to Wednesday. I've got a great workout for you today with some heavy deadlifting and jump rope practice, as well as some work on the pull-up bar and rings for push-ups. For the warm-up, we're gonna go 40 seconds on, 20 second transition. You're gonna start with the jump rope. If you don't have access to a jump rope, you can do penguin claps or jumping jacks. After that, uh, you're gonna grab a plate. If you don't have a plate, you can use a dumbbell or kettlebell. What you're gonna do is just alternate between deadlifting and doing a bent over row. So you're gonna start by deadlifting the weight up and then you'll go back down. Here you'll row and then stand back up, hinge, row, stand. So you're just going into this deadlift and then coming back down, rowing to the chest, extending the arms, standing up. Next we're gonna do is stay with the plate or your dumbbell or kettlebell. We're gonna do some halo and extension, tricep extensions. So for this, I'm gonna come around when I get to the back of my head, I'm going to extend up overhead and then I'll finish my heel in front. I'll then reverse the motion. When I get to the back of my uh, neck, I'll extend up and then come back around. So from the side here, I'm gonna keep my elbows in tight, extend up overhead, finish at the front and then I'll reverse, keeping my chest tight, butt squeezed, and I'll just keep repeating that for the 40 seconds. Next, what you're gonna do is uh, grab a light set of plates. So fives, tens, fifteens, twenty fives max on the bar, and you're gonna do some, uh, just some warm up deadlifts. With the deadlift, we'll assume that we have plates on this bar. Ideally, we're going to mix grip. You could even mix grip, hook grip. From here, plates are on the bar. I'm gonna tap the ground, stand all the way up, Keep the bar in contact with my legs, stand. So I'm pushing the butt back. I'm also keeping my head neutral, so I'm not looking up, overextending. Instead, I'm keeping my head down, looking at the ground. If you're at home, what I want you to do is use your uh, dumbbell or kettlebell. You're gonna be between the feet, shoulders back, butt back, and you're just gonna grab the weight, stand all the way up, tap, Uh, next we're going to do is a plank to push up to downward dog. So for this, I'm going to get my hands set up underneath my shoulders in this plank position here. I'll start here. I'll go down, perform my push up, back to my downward dog, pedal my feet a little bit, back to my plank. If I need to scale, I'll go down, drop my knees, push up, come back to downward dog, and pedal. And then lastly, I want you to go ahead and add another set of plates, so a heavier weight, perform uh, some deadlifts. If you're at home, you have two weights, you can go ahead and have one on the outside of each leg. Same idea, butt goes back, touch one head of each dumbbell, stand at the top. We'll take about five minutes or so if you're at the gym to get any extra plates that you might need as well as assign uh, people to station at the rig. So for our workout today, we've got two parts. So we're gonna do an EMOM every minute of the minute for 12 minutes. We have two movements, so six rounds of each. You're gonna start on the odd minutes with anywhere from five to seven deadlifts. On the evens, we're gonna go 30 to 50 double unders, or you can substitute penguin claps or some sort of weighted jump rope. For the deadlifts, you can stay at the same weight or you can increase weight each round. If you're at home, what I want you to do is use some tempo. So what I mean by that is I'm going to come down, one, two, three, four, and then stand back up. So again, I'm just lowering the weight down and then extending it on the way up. You could also mix it up by just having a dumbbell in one hand that will work the other side of your core to help stabilize you. So do uh, your deadlifts on one hand. For the next round, come through and switch to the other arm. After a two minute rest transition, we'll go into our second wad, wad B. Same idea, two movements, six rounds of each. On the odd minutes, you're gonna do five to 15, uh, either ring rows, pull-ups, chest to bars, or bar muscle ups. Then you'll do five to 10 ring push-ups. 
If you have your feet under the anchor point, that's gonna make it easier. If your hands are under the anchor point, it's gonna make it a lot harder. If you're at home, you can substitute one or two kettlebell or dumbbell bent over rows. You can substitute just regular push-ups or on your kettlebell or dumbbell. So for the bent over rows, as you know, I'd like you to mix your grip up so we can have a neutral grip here for our rows, an overhand grip, and then lastly is our underhand grip. For the push-ups, you'll have your hands on the weights to make it a little more challenging. Basically, it's gonna allow you to get a little bit deeper into that push-up. If you need to modify, what I want you to do is perform a regular push-up on the descent, drop your knees to help you come back up. So do not drop the knees until you're already down at the bottom. Then drop the knees, help you to come back up. If you're at the gym, at the rig, obviously if you're doing a harder level movement like a bar muscle up, I'm only expecting about five reps. If it's easier, you know, uh, in terms of skill, maybe a ring row or pull up, maybe we're in that 10 to 15 rep range. For the ring push-ups, what I want you to focus on today when you're holding the rings, so again, to make it easier, the anchor point's gonna be behind me. I'll basically be at an incline doing my push-ups like this. To make it harder, the rings are attached to the anchor here. I'll basically be all the way in a plank position doing my push-ups. What I want for whichever variation you're doing is to start and finish the reps in our nice turnout position. So this is my turnout position. What I don't want is for you to be internally rotated and pushing like this the entire time. Instead, we're gonna start externally rotated, turned out, as we descend down, then we'll rotate the rings into a neutral position. We will press out into our turnout. Okay, so this is our start. This is our finish. So you're rotating into that neutral position and then rotating back out. Think about pulling those shoulder blades down and back. Don't get hunched over. Okay, that's not what we want. We're gonna finish this up, guys, with uh, some foam rolling. We're gonna hit the lats, especially after all the pull-ups, the glutes and hamstrings from those deadlifts, the calves from the jump rope, and then lastly, our snow angels for the chest. So this is a great set of, uh, we've got skill work with our gymnastics, we've got some cardio and conditioning with our double under practice, and then some heavy lifting with our deadlifts. So a little bit of everything today. If you have questions, please let me know. As always, move well, good luck, and